Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I thought it's about time I got out. I want to do night shoots, and that's what this video is about. But, but you know, get the opportunity of catching the sunset. It's still gonna take 10 minutes or so. And I'm thinking if I can get a shot of it with the Botany Bay Cliffs here. Like these are majestic looking things. With that sun, perhaps get it just through the gap. <laughs> I'm walking and talking. Doesn't that look spectacular? I wasn't coming out to do a sunset, but look at it, it's gorgeous. Coming down across the, um, the bay. So it is a night shoot video. I'm gonna put on the screen now a map of my plan. I'm gonna do Broadstairs. I'm gonna do Ramsgate. I think I want to do the Port of Dover. I know where I'm going, but I think I need to just turn up, spy a good location, and get a single night shot for each one of these locations. Only because I'm stuck indoors doing my work, you know? <laughs> just get out and do some photography. It's been long overdue. Let me set up for this sunset, get a couple of shots of this. So I know I'm doing night shoots, but I'm, I, I can't say no to a sunset, can I? This is what I've got. Isn't that gorgeous? And if I adjust the exposure compensation, I can increase the brightness or decrease the bright brightness. So that's what I have to do with this shot because I want to include the cliff. I'm gonna do two shots. I'm gonna do a panorama, uh, not a panorama, a landscape, but I'm also going to do a portrait, but stack, stack them. So I will need exposure compensation like that to illuminate the cliff and then drop it to get the dark sky. And I can take the shot while I'm actually in live view. So there's the dark shot. There's the light shot. And then if I stack them, I can get the illuminated cliff and the dark sky. That sky, that sun. Let's get the exposure back down to zero. I love the swimmers in the water. <laughs> can you see them? Can I get a shot with the swimmers on their surfboards and the reflection of that sun on the sea? That's just wonderful. So this is going to be a single shot, but I actually need to adjust the exposure compensation. So I don't have live hin in, uh, histogram on this camera. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm slightly ski with, but... Everybody loves a sunset, don't they? Even though I'm doing night photography. <laughs> Can I bracket this? It's going to be difficult with the swimmers. Sunset at Botany Bay. <laughs> That'll do for that. I didn't come out for sunset and it's it's dropping, look, it's dropping behind the cloud. If you can see that, there's a cloud coming in. It's rather nice though. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't actually coming out for sunset, although it's gorgeous, look at that behind me. <laughs> I get so distracted. I actually want to do some night photography and I've got something in mind. I was racing to get here. It is dropping behind the um, it's dropping behind the um, the cloud now. So I'll leave you with these little sunset shots while I head over to Broadstairs and set up. I will only do one shot in each of the locations. So Broadstairs, Ramsgate, Port of Dover. I think that'll do three three night shots. And the Port of Dover should be good because we, if there are ferries, I might get some trail lights from all the trucks. Here are those pictures.
Okay, folks, sorry about that erratic intro. I knew I had to get here to Broadstairs. It's still a little light, but I just had to get that sunset at Botany Bay. It was just a bit chaotic. So actually the agenda, I want to take three night shot images. So I want Broadstairs, I want Ramsgate, and I want the Port of Dover. I should get something. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> seagull. <laughs> Have you got something to say, bird? <laughs> you probably thought I had a packet of chips or something. <laughs> anyway, it's still a bit light. I'm going to give you a little pano of what I'm doing here. See, that looks too dark on the live view, doesn't it? And I've done this before, way back when. I think during lockdown I came here. <laughs> you know, when I was taking my one hour exercise. Remember those days? That was a long time ago. So the objective will be manual priority. I'll keep the aperture closed as much as I can. There's not much wind, but all those little lights going across, you know, sort of, what are they? Just pretty lights. They come all the way around here and then they go to the bandstand. But if we get wind and I do a long exposure, then they become all blurred. It's just lovely, isn't it? But I want to do a long exposure because I, I have this idea. And this is the thing with photography. It goes back to who are you trying to please? Are you trying to please the masses, the audience, or are you trying to please yourself? You've got to please yourself. If you're not happy with your image, you know, it's almost like you can love everybody in the world, but if you don't love yourself, what's the point? <laughs> Sounds a bit kind of, you know. I want to take a picture because I want to capture this scene. That's the important issue here, you know. So if somebody then likes it, I'm super pleased about that. So I'm going to take... I'll wait till it gets a bit darker. I don't know, shall I give it a shot? Let's give it a shot and see what we can get here. I think, I think it's too dark. Uh, sorry, I think it's too light. So drop my f-stop to f29. I can go for about a four second exposure. Let's just do a test shot, put it on the screen for you. Because the sun set half an hour ago, so it's the blue hour. That's that image. That's at four seconds at f29. So it still looks dusky. So if I drop the shutter speed to 1.3 seconds, yeah, it's just a bit too light. I'm not going to get a night shot. Let's just hang on a minute and then we'll be back. <laughs> the power of pausing. Okay, it's getting a little darker now, but if I leave it any longer, it'll be midnight before I get to the Port of Dover. So I'm going to just gauge it. Let's do a three shot panel. We're doing three seconds. Three seconds exposure at F25. I should get some starburst. But at three seconds, it might just smooth out the water a little bit for me, which makes it even more pleasant. It would be really lovely at night. Yeah, that's good. Swivel it round. That's shot one. Same settings, just moving the camera. I'm going to go on manual priority there, simply because it was not locking in on the focus, but I knew it was focused. No trail lights on this shot. That's that one. And bring it round again to get the colonnade or Riviera. Riviera? Is, that what, is that what you called it, Rachel? Riviera. Shot three. It's quite pleasant. I'm getting the light, which is nice. I've got smooth water and it's still kind of dusky. So that'll work for me. You remember what I said? It's about who do you want to please. I've done this shot before, late at night, and it looked like this. 
um, but that was in my early days of learning how to do photography. So I didn't really factor in things like the wind, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So I'll leave that one with you. As I go to Ramsgate, I'll get some trail lights, which is good. Catch you in a minute. couldn't help myself. I'm still here. <laughs> it's dark. But I can get three more shots because it's getting dark now. So <laughs> I, I want to show you really if you can see how dark it's becoming and the lights illuminating on the sea. So although I did that other one, I'm going to go for one more. Just one more. Three shot pano. I've got the camera all set up because I've been practicing. Because you've got to practice, haven't you? Six second time error, F29. Um, it gives me some nice starbursts on the lights. Shot one. See how it's turning now. And I'm getting the illumination of the street lights on the, kind of the edge of the sand, but also on the water. And I'm loving it. And at six seconds, it can smooth the water out. Shot two. One more to take in the little restaurant at the end there. It's a very pleasant little place, this. Lots of people milling about for a Thursday evening. That's all right. <laughs> I get copyright strike for that. Shot three. That will be a nice pano. <laughs> I like the orange lights on the um, on the buildings. It adds a little bit of cityscape to this little town. Right, I'll give you that other pano, and now I'm off to Ramsgate. Catch you in a minute. Sometimes you feel a bit despondent and you think, no, I'm not going to do it. Then you come out and you're with your camera and you get all excited. It's like, oh, I should have done this ages ago. It's like meeting up with an old friend, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is what I've got. I'm using my iPhone because it gives me more uh, ambient light and I can do that. I've got the, the road coming down here. So if I can get trail lights coming up and down and I've got the harbour illuminated and the buildings can i zoom in here it would look lovely to get a shot it's, a, it's about setting up the composition isn't it that's all i'm thinking of maybe a 10 second exposure with the trail lights have a look if i set it at come on camera on manual priority at 10 seconds can't get the F stop F25 that should give me nice starbursts 10 seconds and I've always liked doing trail lights there's something kind of I want to say sexy about it. because when you're looking at a picture with trail lights and a cityscape I know it's not a city it's a town there's so much to look at you're looking at the street lights you're looking at the buildings with all the lights inside now, when you're doing a long exposure, you're not going to get people in the shot. If people walking by, they're just a blur, aren't they? If you've never done trail light photography and you're interested, have a quick look at this video, or well, maybe after this video. Look at this video I made up here. Um, hints and tips for setting it up. Is that the time? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Back to front, isn't it? It's now... 10, 20, 10 35 at night 
So I'm going to wait for an appropriate moment when there are enough vehicles coming up and down the hill and then I'll snap the shot and we'll head off to Dover. So actually there's no point hanging around here. I'll give you the shot that I did take after I'd shut the video down and then, and then we'll be at Dover Port. Well, that wasn't bad, but you know, it's 10 to 11, I just looked at the clock, and I thought to myself, I don't actually fancy standing on the White Cliffs of Dover on the cliff top, you know, close to the edge, trying to take some pictures of ferries at night. And by the time I get there, there might not even be any ferries. So we're gonna leave that one for another, another shoot, another time. Um, I got the sunset, which wasn't planned, and I got a dusk shot, and a night shot so yeah that was a successful evening and like i said before back there it's like meeting up with an old friend you think oh, i don't want to do this and then when you get out there you get the bug and you're doing it and of course you're doing it for yourself so be encouraged you know get your camera get out there do it all right i'll conclude the video thanks for watching and bearing with i'll see you in another video bye for now